Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at a new centre speaker that I've recently bought by Kef, the R series, and it's the R200C. Now this video is a little bit different to all of my other content that I typically create, but when I'm researching a product and looking for videos to find more information, and when I don't find any of those videos, or I'm not pleased with what I do find, then I try and take it upon myself to create a video that is both useful and educational. So why Kef speakers? Well, I've had a number of Kef speakers over the years, and I've always admired their build quality and their sound production. I use them predominantly in my surround system, and for a number of years, I've, I say, got by with an egg surround system. So by that, I mean these type of speakers with the UniQ driver in there and then the uh, bass response around the outside. About a year ago, I purchased a pair of LS50s and they are something special. If you live near a speaker shop, I would strongly suggest you uh, have a demo of the LS50s with some music that you're familiar with, played through a decent CD player and amplifier, you will hear things from the speakers that you've never heard before in the music that you've listened to for many years. The sound of things and the sound of films and music and video games has always been very important to me. I've always believed it's half the story. It's okay having a, a 60 inch TV that has beautiful 4K and HDR technology but when you're only listening through your source, through the TV's built-in speakers, you're not even getting half of the experience. I cannot reiterate it enough that it's really important to invest in the rest of the system um, to get the whole experience. So without further ado, my very long introduction, um, I've decided to upgrade my egg speakers. I think they're like the Kef 3005s or something like that. Yeah, I think that's the model. With the R series, um, not, the, not the reference series, because the center speaker for the reference series is about four and a half thousand pounds. So I have with me the Kef R200C. It will definitely suit my needs above and beyond for my room size. There's no real need for me to go for the R600. This speaker here will set you back 650 pounds. It's a huge amount of money um, just for, well, one speaker. However, the center and the left and right speakers are the most important part of your speaker setup, your surround sound setup. So it's definitely worth investing in you know the best quality you can afford and the, the bigger uh, the better obviously that's dependent on the room size as i just mentioned so this is going to be my unboxing i did unbox the kf ls 50s on the channel about a year ago so it comes with this uh you know security kef security tape You've got to be extremely careful because the uh, cardboard does have these big um, metal staples in it for added sort of uh, protection. So brand new out of the box first look. This is the R series, in case you wanted to know. Um, I'll just show you them. I will try and get some more unboxings and things of this uh, these Kef range if I can. But there you go. So you've got the R900, which are about two and a half thousand pounds. The R700, which are about 2,000 and the R500, which are one and a half thousand. Then you've got the R300, which are a which are thousand pound for the pair. The R100, which is 600 pound for the pair. The dipole, I'm not quite sure how much that is. I think that's probably 600 or 700 pounds. Then you've got the 200C, which is what I'm unboxing now. Then you've got the 600C, 
which is I think about 900 pounds. And then you've got the uh, subwoofer, which I think is the R1000, but there you go. So that's the R series. Gives you a little bit of a instruction guide, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Uh, it gives you all the, the model, the design, for all of them actually, which is very interesting. So there you go, that's the R series. It's a inst installation manual that you'll get with all of the uh, R speakers. Okay, so they're very big on packaging. When I mean big, I mean this is very thick. This speaker in here is was not gonna go anywhere in, in the packaging. Um, look how thick and secure that is. It's very, very thick. You've even got this as well, so. <laughs> More on that later. And this is the speaker itself. It might be worth mentioning that the speaker itself weighs 15.1 kilograms and it has the magnetic uh, front cover, which I don't think I am going to use. So there you are. That gives you some sort of some idea of the size, I would have thought. Okay, and now the big reveal. Very shiny piano black finish. <clears throat> there you go. And that is what it looks like. So you can see there, you've got the UniQ driver and the two base driver units. Um, this is going to be a monster of a uh, centre speaker. It's uh, very heavy. You've got the outflow there, which you can, of course, if it's uh, close to a wall, you can just use this bung and uh, put that in there, and that will, um, you know, reduce the amount of air uh, coming out of the back. You've got a few uh, inputs here. So you've got your link, then you've got your HF, your high frequency, and your LF, your low frequency. To put banana plugs in, which is what I'm going to do, you of course will have to uh, twist these all the way off and then um, basically put them back on and then uh, plug your banana plugs in. So that is the sort of rear inputs. It's fully sealed unit. Kef do wonders, not only in the front sort of speaker and driver units and things and the uh, magnets inside but also they do wonders with their cabinets to make them um, very solid and secure to limit the amount of vibration distortion that would eventually go to the listener so that's my unboxing and first look at the kef r200c i hope you've enjoyed it if you would like to see a review of the speaker or you just like to see it in in action please do put a comment below thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the Emperor Protects.